Hello, welcome to the channel. My name's Andy, and in news this week, it's been reported that there's a couple of lawsuits in the pipeline regarding AI art. A group of visual artists has sued artificial intelligence company Stability AI Limited, Midjourney Inc., and Deviant Art Inc. for copyright infringement, adding to a fast emerging line of intellectual property disputes over AI generated work. Getty Images also announced Tuesday that it had initiated legal proceedings against Stability AI in the United Kingdom over Stability's alleged copying of millions of its images. And the other lawsuit has been brought by artists Sarah Anderson, Kelly McKernan and Carla Ortiz, who told the California court that Stability scraped, in inverted commas, more than 5 billion images from stock image websites like Getty Images, shopping sites like Shopify, and online communities like Tumblr and Flickr to use as training data for stable diffusion without any licenses. Their lawsuit said stable diffusion is merely a complex collage tool and that all AI image creators violate the rights of millions of artists in substantially the same way. So I've had a couple of thoughts on this, and to be honest, I doubt that either of these lawsuits are going to help artists in any substantial way. Now, I'm not a copyright lawyer, obviously, but it seems to me as if the whole legal argument is fundamentally flawed and based on a complete misunderstanding of how AI works. But that's something for the courts to sort out. Let's say that these lawsuits succeed and that it's determined in court that an artist's style is now copyrightable. Is that something we actually want? Think about the implications of that for a minute. Artists learn by studying and copying other artists, either consciously or subconsciously. So if a lawsuit determines that an artist's style is now copyrightable, do you really want to create art in an environment where every piece of work you produce has the potential to get you sued for being too similar in style to another artist's work? Here's another potential scenario. Let's say a law was passed where every piece of AI art had to be labelled as such. What would that achieve exactly? Someone commissions artwork for, say, an album cover, and an AI comes up with the perfect piece of art that perfectly fulfills the brief. Do you think that they'll say, no, I can't use that, it wasn't made by a real artist. Most people won't care one way or the other who created it. They'll just be happy to get a design that fits the brief. Personally, I'm moving ahead in the assumption that none of these initiatives will achieve anything. My advice to artists is to get in the driving seat with this technology or be prepared to get run over by it. Here's how I'm using it. Visualizing new directions for my traditional paintings. Character design inspiration. T-shirt designs and print-on-demand projects. I'm resurrecting abandoned projects such as comics and animations that were just too time-consuming to pursue. I'm going to be talking about all these things and more. But right now, it's time for... Stuff I was doing in mid-journey when I should have been working. Okay. 